everybody. We are going to be making s'mores oatmeal. This is a hungry girl recipe. Um, I need a half of a cup of old fashioned oats. And this is gonna be for a single serving for me. Um, I need a cup of unsweetened almond milk. And I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna do the growing oatmeal method. So I'm gonna add in you can add a half cup to a cup of water on top of that. I'm going to add just a dash of salt. And I need a packet of this. This is a 25 calorie um, hot cocoa mix. Now this one's kind of hard to find in the stores, um, but it's worth it if you can find it. You can also find these on Amazon. And so sometimes they sell it in the... Um, I'm gonna put this packet in here. Sometimes they sell it in a canister. Let me open this and then I'll so add it. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil. I'll stir it and then I'll bring it to a boil and then I'm going to lower it to a simmer and that's gonna cook for about 15 minutes or so. Then we'll add our other toppings and in in our stir-ins and that's gonna be real interesting. All right, let's talk about the toppings here for a minute while that's cooking. Um, I am using the mini chips here, the um, semi-sweet from Enjoy Life. Now, what I have is Hungry Girl said use two teaspoons, which I did. But when I weighed it, tried to put it in my app, I had to weigh it by ounces. And so this is a third of an ounce and it's three points. Um, for me, honestly, I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know if I'll use them all. This is more of a dessert, I think, to me than a breakfast. But I mean, I thought, what the heck, live on the wild side today, right? <laughs> Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna try it. But um, three points, this isn't something that I would usually use three points on. Um, the marshmallows, I needed two tablespoons. When I put it in the app, it said to count by item. So 10 was one point. And um, I have 12 here, which is still one point. And I need one quarter of a sheet of graham crackers, which is just this one little square here. That's gonna go as a topping. Um, now, when I tried to put that in the tracker, it actually, it only comes up as one point if I go for, you know, two of these. So a quarter of an actual square. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and take zero on that because there's nothing for that. I'm not gonna take a point for that if it's not even showing, you know, an eighth really of a square. Um, so this is going to be a 10 point breakfast for my oats and I mean, it, it, it's probably going to be fun, you know, but I mean, fun only lasts so long. So I probably won't do this very often. I'm also having one egg with a half a cup of egg whites, half a cup of egg whites, and that has garlic powder and salt on it as an aside on it. All right, time to dress it up. So half of these chocolate chips. I'm going to stir them in. I have to use a plastic spoon here. It's the closest thing around. <laughs> and um, I'm going to let those melt. And then while those melt, I'm going to put everything else on top. So I'm going to have my other chocolate chips. I'm going to have my graham crackers and my mini marshmallows. I think I'll probably mix those in as well. Decided to have uh, some decaf and a banana after that. Later for lunch, I had some beanie weenies, a two-point turkey frank with zero-point pinto beans, one point of reduced-fat cheese on top, applesauce, and ten, let's see, flex crisp, which equal one point, and my ice drink, which was very good. This is a very filling lunch. It was very satisfying. I thought it was great just for four points. Um, now I needed something between lunch and dinner and this always does it for me. A quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, two, two tablespoons of the light whipped cream, and about a teaspoon of raspberry jello mix. And believe it or not, this just makes a really wonderful dessert for me. I could use half of an apple and just slice it up and dip it in here or half of a banana. But really, I'm, all I'm going to do today is just eat this. It's just really a nice little treat, and it gives me a lot of protein and keeps me till dinner. All right, um, I am making some compote. I just take a bunch of blueberries that are kind of squishy. I put a little bit of water in it, and then I cook them down, add a little bit of monk fruit sweetener, maybe some vanilla, 
and just a little cornstarch and water to thicken it. And then I use that as a zero point topping for toast, desserts, rice cakes, um, oatmeal, or maybe just top it with a little light whipped cream and it's really versatile. So I store it in the jar and I stick it in the fridge and I just pull that out and it's just such a nice treat. So you can see it kind of thickened up here and it's just wonderful. There's really nothing else added to it. Okay, so for dinner time, I was going to make some fried rice for my family and instead of using the wok, I'm using this big kind of like a Dutch oven. I've just got like a tea tablespoon of olive oil, some onions and what is it, garlic and carrots and what else, peppers and just lots of veggies. There goes some ginger um, coleslaw mix, mushrooms, um, and because I don't have enough veggies, oh, I'm putting in some tamari soy sauce. I'm dumping in some more veggies, frozen veggies. <laughs> and, and let's see, oh, some scrambled eggs and about five and a half cups of white rice, and that's going to be for the whole family. And, ooh, it was so good. I'm telling you, I also had some uh, fried rice uh, packet mix. All right, for dessert afterward, I have my caramel rice cakes. These are two points a piece, um, and they're so good. They're nice and thick, and I put some of that blueberry compote on and a little bit of the light whipped cream, and so that is a three-point dessert. And my husband has two of them. He said that those really hit the spot. Um, and guess what? This is like one of the lowest point days I've had in a bit. I have one left over at the end of the day. It was really great.